What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another video. This is part one of my EQ class for voiceover or dialogue recordings. In this video, I'm going to explain what a high pass and a low pass filter will do and why you want to use them. So a high pass filter allows the highs to pass through, but cuts off the low bass frequencies. A low pass filter will allow the lows to pass through but cuts off the higher frequencies. Anytime you're EQing a vocal, the first thing you want to do is add a high pass filter to cut off the, the unwanted or the unneeded frequencies that are deeper than the human voice. That way if there's any room resonance, room rumbles, deep hums or anything like that, we are going to get rid of it. I'll show you how to set up a high pass and a low pass filter on this type of EQ. And I will also show you how to set your high pass and your low pass filter on this type of EQ. This is part of my playlist for editing or processing the audio on your voiceover. And I'm going to make sure that pops up on the screen at the end of this video in case you want to see more of the videos. But let's get to it. Every EQ should have a high pass and a low pass filter setting. If they don't, you might want to look into getting a different EQ. But the first thing you always do for a voice recording is set a high pass filter to about 60 hertz. That is a very good starting place. There's usually not a whole lot of information below 100 hertz on a human voice. So some people will just go ahead and set it to 100. But you can see on this EQ, there's all these little frequencies down here on my voice that are below, below 60. And if you set that too high, you start cutting some of those out. And those can actually add some nice warmth or sometimes those can add some mud. But we will get into some other ways on how to use the high pass filter on the next video. If you're EQing the average male voice, I think around 60 is the sweet spot. Or if you're doing a male with a higher pitch voice or a female voice, maybe around 100 is where you're going to set it. But for the most part, I think 60 is a very nice sweet spot for most voices. So most of the time you can just set it on 60 and walk away and leave it and not have to touch it. But like I said in the next video, we will get into removing muddiness. And if you have too much mud, it may come in handy for that. But that'll be in the next video. So let's move on to the low pass filter. A low pass filter is not 100% necessary. Some people run it, some people don't. As you get older, you start losing the ability to hear some of the higher pitch frequencies. A younger person can hear all the way up to 20,000 hertz and a older person might only hear to around 15,000 hertz. So a lot of guys will just take a low pass filter and set that to 15,000 hertz because they're worried that there might be some higher pitch frequencies that they can't hear. So you know what, that might not be a bad idea just to set a low pass filter. You kind of got to use your ears, but I would say somewhere between 15 and 18,000 is a pretty good place to put it for your average person and your average voice. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other type of EQ so we can show you how to find and use the high pass and low pass filters on the other type of EQ. So on this type of EQ right here, we basically just find the two knobs. There's usually one knob for high pass, one knob for low pass. We'll grab the high pass filter, set that to around 60 hertz, and we won't touch it again unless we need to. Like I said, the next video is going to cover some of this. And if we want to add a low pass filter, we just find that knob and just turn it until we find the, the desired frequency. So there's 14,000, you know, there's 15,000. This one goes to 18. Most of them cut off at 20. I'm not really sure this, why this one has 18, but hey, 18 is just fine. But honestly, that's really all there is to high pass and low pass filters. I mean, it's basically just cutting off the bass or the high pitch frequencies that are not needed that are either deeper or more high pitch than the sound source that you recorded. Like I was saying, you don't necessarily need to cut off the high frequencies. Some people like to do that. A lot of people don't even bother with it and that's fine. But you always want to use the high pass filter to cut off the low unwanted frequencies. That is actually very important. So any information that gets recorded that's deeper than your human voice is really just going to be a bunch of room noise and hums and hisses and stuff you don't want in there. So always cut off the lower frequencies no matter what. That should always be the number one thing that you do when setting up an EQ on a vocal. So there we have it. We used a high pass and a low pass filter to get rid of the unwanted and unneeded frequencies that are 
just a bunch of noise and junk that we don't want in a recording. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me out. I try to make videos to help you out. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'm going to make sure the, the playlist for editing your voiceovers pops up on the screen, and I will be filling that up with more and more videos until we have a full list of everything you need to know to edit a voiceover and get professional quality sound. So thanks for watching, guys. That's going to wrap this one up. Have an awesome day. Lightning out. See ya.